In this video, I'm going to show you how to update your MSI motherboard using mFlash. The first thing you're going to do is make sure you have a flash drive formatted to FAT32 and make sure that's plugged into the computer. Then you're going to want to go to MSI's website, go to the support page for your particular model motherboard, and you want to download the latest BIOS. And after that's downloaded, you want to go into your downloads folder and you're actually going to want to extract this. I'm going to go ahead and extract it back into the downloads folder again. And once you're in here, you want to open this folder. You want to copy the files that are inside of it onto your flash drive. You go ahead and paste it in there. And then you're going to want to restart your computer after you've done that and load into the BIOS. After you've loaded into your BIOS, you'll want to either be in advanced mode or easy mode. In easy mode, you'll just click M flash down here. In advanced mode, you'll click M flash right here. And you should get a pop-up menu like this. Go ahead and click yes. After a few moments, you should see a screen pop up like this here with mFlash. You want to go ahead and click on your actual BIOS update that you put in your flash drive. And it'll ask if you're sure you want to select this file. You want to go and click yes. And then at this point, you want it to just run throughout its whole time frame. Uh, don't remove your flash drive. Don't turn off your computer and just let it do its own thing. Once the BIOS update is completed, your computer will turn off and restart itself. Uh, it may do this a couple of times. If you do have an operating system, it will go ahead and boot into your OS. If you don't, it should boot back into your BIOS. And as you can see in my BIOS here, I currently have the latest build date and BIOS version on my computer now. Um, at this point, you'll want to go ahead and redo any settings that you had made previously in your BIOS, since updating it does unfortunately wipe all those settings out. Then once you're complete with that, you go ahead and close out of the BIOS, uh, save any of your changes, and if you have an operating system installed, it'll boot back into that.